My name is Donald Atchison and the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to start a program called Economic Development Ministry. I think that Economic Development Program is for you because if you're sitting at home, if you are, don't have the job that you want or you're, you're unhappy in the job that you're um, in and you're not taking the extra money that you have and then invest in it, I think that, um, that this program is for you. The lower uh, class, the lower class of income, lower middle class of income, people who know what it's like to not be able to pay bills consistently, but they have that, that they have something special that goes beyond just being poor. Not only can they see themselves with something more, they want it, they're hungry, and they're willing to do what they have to do to make it happen. Those are the ones that I'm looking for in particular. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm like, and coming here, like, the energy that I feel from every person, every individual that's a part of EDM is, is just wonderful, you know, and it makes you want to, like, go out there and, like, chase your dreams, you know, even if they don't seem like they're possible, but they really are, you just have to believe. This is, and I teach it all the time, and I know you know where I'm going to go. Fail forward. You got to take, you got to have a whole bunch of failures to win one time. And you gotta take a lot of pain, you gotta take a lot of blows in order to make it happen. Seriously, you gotta take a lot of blows to make it happen. And some of those blows, you're like, this is not even worth it. And I can tell you, there's a lot of people that just walk away in the middle of taking those blows. Once again, focusing on myself, because I know this week, whether you saw it or not, opportunities came your way. All you had to do was take the initiative. If you didn't take the initiative, the opportunity kept on going, because that's how life works, and that's how opportunities come, and that's how opportunities go. The thing about it is sometimes bad opportunities come to us too. Sometimes we grab onto those bad opportunities. And the thing about this classroom is this. I say it all the time. I'm going to write this down with this chicken poop little, little marker. But it's a word that I'm going to continue to focus on because it's a word that's very important to me. And that's mindset, mentality, how we think, how we see things. We have people in this class, I think it's only 10 or 12 or 11 of us in here right now, but you have 11 or 12 people in here right now that are committed to helping you achieve your financial goals. Now we can't get family members to do this. You have a group right here that are strangers that are willing to help you achieve your financial goals. Where do you find these people? How do you get people to come to your classes? Uh, I think I'm a magnet, you know, because I'm, it's not, it, I'm hitting the right people at the right time, at the right place randomly. It seems like it's random, but it's because it's in my mind all the time. It's because of what I'm doing all the time. I'll look over, I'll see someone like yourself and just start talking to you. And then the next thing you know, they're coming to the Economic Development Ministry. What inspires me is associating with a group of people that I have never really ever in my wildest imagination thought that I was going to be a part of a group where you know, everyone, ha they're kind of tuned in on the same frequencies and they are learning as we go. So I've never really been um, part of a group that offers so much. Yeah, and like, I think what Mike is trying to say is like, you are who you associate yourself with. And if we are around a lot of people who are like go-getters, you know, and, and that they want to achieve their goals and their wildest dreams and be able to help people at the same time give back, I think that's what's really important to us, just to be around the same people who have the same mindset. Like. Um, can you did, um, further explain why EDM is not an, an academic class? Well, academics, we, we, we've had academics in elementary, junior high, high school. Some of us, we graduate with these degrees and still uh, life is financially miserable or life is just miserable with the marriage and things like economic development, academics is, is it's got its place. It's nothing wrong with academics. However, it's about practical application. It's about being able to take what it is that we've already learned and use it and make it valuable in our lives. It's no good if it's just academics and it's on paper. We gotta break it free. So I give them information on how to do things with their credit and then they go out there and do it. So it's not just academics, it's a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. I think it's a hybrid and that's uh, where, what makes us superior to when it comes down to the other organizations. We're not just teaching and we're not just charging for our services. We're actively engaged and involved with each individual.
I want people to know that economic development ministry is not like any other economic business or financial business. It's a family and we're seriously uh, interested in the persons that walk through our door and participate in our family, that our family members. We're interested in their personal lives, we're interested in their financial lives, their emotional lives, their spiritual lives. We, we want to help them succeed as much as we possibly can.